I've never seen a moon like this. Tis known as a pirate's moon and happens but once every 100 years. Shiver me whiskers, the flying swords! Flying swords? Aye, according to legend, tis only on the night of the rare pirate moon when cold ocean waters turn warm that ye may be lucky enough to see the flying swords. They're a sign, me hearties, that you are near a sunken pirate ship where X marks the spot of the greatest treasure ye could ever hope to find. The sword of the Pirate King! But any pirate who hopes to take it as his own must be brave indeed, because the sword of the Pirate King is guarded by three magical flying swords. Me granddad always wanted to find that treasure. Alas, he never had the chance. But now I do! Arr, are we going to look for the Pirate King's sword, matey? Not we, Peso. Tis a mission I need to go on alone. For the honor of me granddad, Calico Jack. I understand. Good luck, Quasi. We'll follow your progress from the octopod. <laughs> a sunken ship. This could be it. Well done, Quasi. Keep us posted. I'm going after that sword, me hearties. <laughs> These freezing waters are shivering me whiskers. Oh, what a glorious ship. The Pirate King! The sword is as good as mine. Strange. The water just got warmer. This is definitely it. Quasi, come in, Quasi. We've lost contact, Captain. His radio's been damaged. Dashy, sound the Octo Alert. Octonauts, to the launch bay. Octonauts, we've lost radio contact with Quasi. He may be hurt or in trouble. Dashy, keep trying to radio him. Peso, into the guppe with me. Tweak, open the Octo hatch. Got it, Cap. Quasi to Octopod. Come in, me hearties. Ah, me radio's broken. But I've still got a Pirate King sword to find. <laughs> okay, now. Where's that X that marks the spot? <gasps> that warm water again. Yow! A flying sword. Yow! <laughs> No telling where more of these magical flying swords might be lurking. Ah! Here I am! No, over here! No, down here, matey! Arr! Two down, one to go! There he is, Captain. Hang on, Peso. This could get a bit rocky. Something tells me that the X that marks the spot is right behind this now! Oh, the last one. Stand aside, you scurvy sword. Magic ye may be, but quick enough to catch this pirate? Never! Captain, I've lost sight of him. Looks like he's inside the kelp forest. Quasi! <gasps> Look! Quasi! <gasps> it's not Quasi! We've been chasing a figurehead! One that could only have come off a pirate ship! But then, where's Quasi? Ha <laughs> ha! How ran it! <laughs> so, it's a duel you're wanting, is it? Then it's a duel ye shall have! Yeah! Oh, God! 
I'm a swordfish. What did you think I was? A magic flying sword? <laughs> the only flying me and my fellow fish do is when we leap out of the ocean. So that was you. The light of the pirate moon made it look like it. Do I care what it looked like? No. What I do care about is uh, this is our feeding ground, and we want you gone. I don't want your food, matey. I want the sword of the Pirate King. And if you think I'm leaving without it, you don't know much about pirates. And uh, you, my friend, don't know much about swordfish, or you would think twice about fighting us. We live by the sword. We use it for swimming fast. Slashing at our food. And defending ourselves. Aha! Three against one, eh? Just the way I like it. Just regular sword fish, but we can heat up our eyes. It helps us to see better in the dark waters. It's working. My paws are getting warmer. Now let's get you out of there. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah. Yeah. Quasi! Captain! Grab hold of the tow line! Good as new. Oh, thank you, my friend. And thank you for saving our fellow fish's life. It was nothing. You're as brave as a swordfish, and not bad with a sword either. Anything we can do in return, you just let us know. Ah, all I want is what I came here for. The sword of the Pirate King. Huh? You must have seen it. It's here somewhere. X marks the spot. What is an X? What is a mark? What is a spurt? You swordfish aren't the magical guardians the legend told of. So maybe there's no sword of the Pirate King either. Come on, Quasi. Don't give up now. Hold on. X marks the spot. Mateys, I'm gonna need your help. <laughs> could be here to see him. Ah, this spyglass is no good. 
It's supposed to help me see things far away, but I can't make out what that big shape is. Besides, we're so far down, it's dark as night. Good thing the octoscope can see in the dark. Can you give us a better picture of what's out there, Dashy? Aye, aye, Captain. It looks like a ship of some kind. <gasps> Shiver me whiskers! Unless I miss me guess, that's the pirate shipwreck of Calico Jack himself! Calico who? Calico Jack. He was me grandfather and the finest cat pirate ever to roam the seven seas. And he had a golden spyglass. The spyglass was passed down from one member of me family to the next. But before it could pass down to me, Calico Jack's ship sank in the North Atlantic Ocean. And that golden spyglass sank with it. The North Atlantic Ocean? But that's where we are now. Quasi, do you really think that could be the pirate ship of Calico Jack out there? Aye, Captain. Then let's go and investigate. Quasi, sound the Octo Alert. Yow! Octonauts, to the launch bay. Octonauts, there's a mysterious ship out there that may have belonged to Quasi's grandfather, Calico Jack. Our mission is to explore the shipwreck and help Quasi find his grandfather's spyglass. Peso, Dashy, Quasi, let's go. Tweak, open the octo hatch. Right away, Cap. Can't you go any faster, Captain? Quasi, that shipwreck has been down there for years. It'll still be there in a few minutes. Oh. Look, everyone. There it is. Well, Quasi, do you think it's Calico Jack's ship? That's got to be a carving of your grandfather. He even looks like you. Let's go inside. Yeah! Huh? Hold on, Quasi. Huh? This may have been a pirate ship once, but now she's home to hundreds of plants and animals. So, Octonauts, be extra careful. We don't want to disturb anything. Aye, aye, Captain. Have you got that, Quasi? Quasi! I wonder where that spyglass might be. Yeah! Oh, spiky sea urchins! Before I could grab it, I got slimed! Who goes there? We may not be able to see, but we can still smell you and hear you, Dag Nabbit. Uh-oh. It looks like this is slime eel territory. Get off our property or I'll slime you again. Sorry, Quasi. We've got to go. Why? But what about the spyglass? Just leave it, Quasi. Two! No! It was me grandfather's and it should be mine! But Quasi... Three! Okay, boys, let him have it. Give me two 
seconds, and I promise I'll be... And then we ran in and Quasi was covered all over with this disgusting slime. Fascinating. A single slime eel can produce a bucket of slime in no time at all. Tell me about it. That's the slime eel's way of protecting itself and its home, especially since it can't see. There certainly were a lot of slime eels protecting that spyglass. Not to mention spiky sea urchins and tangly seaweed. Sorry, Quasi. It's probably too dangerous to go back. What would a slime eel want with a spyglass anyway? <sighs> I'm going to bed. It's mine, mine, mine. The spyglass is mine. <sighs> Quasi. This time I'm not leaving without that spyglass. <gasps> Um... and more, eh? Quasi! Ah, I finally had me grandfather's spyglass, till this wooden beam fell down and trapped me. Ah, I can't move it without bringing the whole ship down. Didn't we warn you to clear out of here and never come back? Ah, you caught me, slime eel. I suppose you're gonna slime me again. Well, go ahead. Mm. That's it. You're right. Ahem. Go ahead. Slime him. I dare you. What? But... My pleasure. You call that sliming someone? Huh. You missed him. Yeah, well, I can't see, remember? Captain, what are you... The slime will make Quasi's tail slippery and we can pull him loose. Oh. Try a little lower next time. Peso, what are you saying? We... Just a little lower. You asked for it. Great work, Slime Eel. Let's pull. I'm free. Thanks, matey. And thanks, Slime Eel. At last, me grandfather's spyglass. And it's all mine. Chow! There's all kinds of plants and animals in there. Looks like this spyglass has become home to many different creatures, Quasi. <sighs> Aye. Back for more, eh? Wait, just a minute. This spyglass has always been passed down in my family. But now, I'm passing it on to you and these little creatures. Oh, that's mighty kind of you, I'm sure. Take good care of it. Yeah, we will. And, um, <laughs> sorry about the slime. Now, go on, get out of here. And after all this time, I finally had the spyglass in my own paws. But when I saw those creatures, I had to put it back. Meow. Quasi, you did the right thing. And you can tell everyone you were the one to discover Calico Jack's shipwreck. Besides... It's not like you didn't get any souvenirs at all. Huh? Here. Peso, <laughs> 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 be sure to keep an eye on your little brother. 
We're going to have so much fun, Mum. We're going to play games on the octopod and we're going to... All right, Pinto, but we can't play right now. Captain Barnacles and the others are out on a mission and they need my help. There's an injured fish who needs a medic right away. Pinto, promise to do whatever your big brother tells you. And Peso, good luck on your mission. Love you. Love you too, Mummy. Bye, Mum. Wow, a mission! This is just like the time those baby sea snails were in trouble and you saved them. Remember? You were a big hero. Oh, I wouldn't call myself a hero. Well, how about when you have to take care of animals that are big and scary? You have to be really brave to do that. Well, it's all part of the job. Can I come with you? Please, please, please! I don't see why not, as long as you stay out of trouble. I will. Oh, wow! Thanks, Peso! Captain, I'm on my way. And I've brought my little brother Pinto with me. Ah, very good. We'll see you both in a few minutes. Pinto, scarf off, helmet on. Good to see you again, Pinto. Hi. Glad you're here to help out your brother. Where's the patient? Right this way. I bet it's a barracuda, or a devilfish, or, or maybe even a giant octopus. Oh. That's the patient? Uh -huh. Say, ah. Uh. <sighs> I reckon it's really, really serious. Can you even talk? Uh, actually, I've got a bruise on me fin. Pinto, would you please hand me your stethoscope? A thermometer, tongue depressor, body cast! Just a bandage roll, please. There, that should do it. Dashie, can you please take a picture so I can show my friends what a hero my big brother is? No problem. You should rest. Would you like to come back to the octopod with us so that you can get better? Thank you. Don't mind if I do. Good work, Peso. And Pinto. We still have some exploring to do around here. See you later back at the Octopod. Wow, an anglerfish. <gasps> What's that? Are you a snake or an eel? Uh, hey guys, would you come over here and help me work out what I'm looking at? Hey, what is that? I wonder what that was. It was huge. Ah, oh, a tail like that can only belong to one thing, mateys. The dreaded monster of the deep known as the Nakawak. The Naka what? The Naka Whack. He's as big as three whales set end to end. Each tooth is the size of a dolphin. And he's crafty. Knocks over ships just for the fun of it, he does. Ah, oh, come on, Quasi. You don't really believe all that, do you? Don't I? I bet that Naka Whack comes back for a sneak attack. And if he does, I'll be waiting for him. Well, it's a mystery, all right. And one we need to investigate. Professor Inkling, are you there? Yes, Captain. How can I help you? Dashy took a picture of the tail of a mysterious animal, but none of us has a clue what it might be. It's the Nakawak, I tell you. The Nakawak. She's sending you the photo right now. Oh, most intriguing. Let me take a look through my books and see what I can find out. Thanks, Professor. Barnacle's out. Hello, Professor. Would you like to join us for a little game of table tennis? Uh, oh, I'd love to play, but I'm too busy searching for a monster. A monster? Where? Well, Quasi thinks it's a monster, but it's probably just a creature we've never seen before. Do you need any help? Certainly! Why don't you go through this book and look for deep sea creatures with very long tails, while I go through this one? And I'll keep an eye out for any monsters. Look, over there! No, just another anglerfish. We're going to have to go deeper. Hi, right into that Nakawak's lair. 
Inkling, have you found anything yet? Not yet, Captain. It's getting hard to hear you. Inkling? Captain? Oh, the radio doesn't work when they're down that deep. Me, but the monster you're looking for, is it long? Yes, extremely long. And does it have shiny silver skin? I think so, yes. Does it have red spikes on its head? Red spikes? Whatever made you think of red spikes? No! Oh. Ah. <coughs> Sound the octo alert! Sound the octo alert! Octonauts, to your stations! Octonaut, who sounded the octo alert? What's wrong? I'm sorry, Captain, but we saw the monster. It was right outside Professor Inkling's window and... Ah, we have to get back to the octopod now. Hang on. Long tail... Red spikes, silvery skin? Of course! Now I know what it is. It's an oarfish! An oarfish? I've never even heard of an oarfish. That's because they're so rare. <laughs> you see, Pinto? I told you it wasn't a monster. Pinto? Where did he go? Oh dear, I know where he's going. And we'd better catch him before he gets there. Stop! Pinto, what do you think you're doing? I'm looking for the monster. It's not a monster, it's an oarfish, and... <gasps> wow! That's the longest fish I've ever seen in my life. I don't think the oarfish feels very well. This one, he's crying. Let me check. <laughs> Excuse me, Mr. Orfish, are you all right? Oh, no, I feel awful. Why did you follow us back to the octopod? Oh, I wouldn't usually, I'm kind of shy, but when I saw you take care of that other fish, I thought maybe you could help me too. Of course I'll help. What's wrong? Oh, my throat, it really hurt. And I'm the longest fish in the ocean, so that's a lot of throat. OK, let's have a look. Say, ah. Uh... Ah. Wider, please. Ah. Whoa! Wow! A vast, it's the Nakawak. And it's got peso. We have to save him. Your throat is all red. I think all you have is a bad cold. Why don't we... Yeah! Don't worry, Peso. I won't let the knackerwag hurt me, little buddy. Whoa, whoa, Quasi. False alarm. This isn't a knackerwag. Huh? It's an oarfish. The longest fish in the ocean. <laughs> you mean you weren't trying to eat Peso here? Ah, of course not. I only eat tiny things, and besides, I don't have any teeth. Luke! Ah. I knew that. Now we just have to work out how to fit him into the sick bay. Amazing! The oarfish can keep his body straight up while he swims. Teal looks good down here. How do things look up there, Peso? Looks good, Tweak. Ah, oh, I'm feeling better already. He is incredibly long. I can see why you might think he was a sea monster, Quasi. Yep, my brother's a hero, all right. He helps any creature who's sick or hurt, from the smallest fish to the longest. And look, Pinto, I took that picture you wanted of him so you can show your friends. Where 
Here, is it? The Yorkta map shows that we're here, in the Mediterranean Sea. Uh, yes? Well, I have my own map of these waters. Excellent, Quasi. A good map helps you to get to places you've never been. Yes, and a secret map helps you get to places you didn't know were there. Hmm. Where did you find it? I dug it up on Catspaw Island back in me pirate days. Yeah. Hmm. This map is very old. Aye. And this map has a tale to tell, Professor. Listen, me hearties. A proud ship once sailed across these waters. The ship carried a precious golden jar. Then there came a terrible storm and the ship sank to the bottom of the sea. There it lay until a scary sea monster made the wreck his home. He guards the golden jar to this very day. If you go looking for it, mateys, you must beware of the eight-headed sea monster, for he'll challenge anyone who comes too close. Yow! <laughs> <clears throat> There's no shipwreck or um, sea monster on the Octomap. Ha <laughs> ha! Pirates don't put their secrets on anybody else's maps. In fact, there are many things under the sea that aren't on anyone's map yet. And the Octonauts are out to find them. Who's with me? Quasi, sound the Octo alert. Yow! Octonauts, to the launch bay. Octonauts, our mission is to find out if there's any truth to Quasi's old map. I'd like to photograph that golden jar. I wonder if it's still there. If we can find the shipwreck, Dashie, then we can look for the golden jar. And the sea monster! Dashie, Peso, you'll come along with Quasi and me. Okie dokie, Cap. Oh. We're ready to test the grabber. Activating Grabber. Mm. Oh. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> ah, got it. This will help pick things up from the shipwreck. Thanks, Tweak. And it's a perfect monster grabber. Monster grabber? Don't worry, Peso. Right, let's go. Tweak, open the Octa hatch. Got it, Cap! The map says there should be a big rock archway up ahead. Check. Go under it and to the left. Coming up on some rocks, Quasi. Which way now? Um, go around the biggest rock and to the right. No, no, the left. We should be getting close now. Closer. Closer. Up ahead, I think I see the shipwreck. It's just some rocks. Quasi, we found your shipwreck. Oh, protect us from the sea monster, Captain. Dashi, Peso, we'll look for that golden jar. Yow! <gasps> Ready or not, here I come! <gasps> Ah, 
If I were a sea monster, where would I hide? He's got eight heads, so he must be pretty clever. That looks like a good hiding place. Octonauts, over here! <gasps> Captain, what is it? Look! The golden jar that was on your map, Quasi. This will make a beautiful photo. Aye, matey, but don't get too close. Captain, the sea monster could be hiding behind that golden jar. Oh, no. Then I'll pull it out very carefully. Over a bit, down a little. Gotcha. Ah, no monster there. Stand back. I'll do a monster check. Yeah, a sea monster couldn't fit in there. Where is that sea monster? This map is no help, no help at all. Peso, we may have to face the worst. The worst? There's no sea monster here. Oh, phew. <gasps> Arr, this is supposed to be a sea monster map. Oh, oh wow. What's the point of having a sea monster map if there's no real sea monster to go with it? Quasi, behind you. Yeah! Ah! Found you, sea monster. You win. That was a fun game of hide and seek. Game? Wait. You're supposed to have eight heads. I think you found an octopus, Quasi. Yes, I'm an octopus, all right. Well, you sure acted like a sea monster. You disappeared like magic when I chased you. I'll show you my tricks. You'll want to take my picture before and after. Hey! Where'd you go? I can change my colors. That makes it easier to hide. Watch this. <laughs> and I can squeeze myself into oh so small spaces. How'd you do that? It's easy when you don't have any bones. You really are the king of hide and seek. <laughs> Even if you're not a proper sea monster. Well, if you hadn't gone looking for a sea monster, you wouldn't have found me. How did you find me? Look, there you are. Oh, time for a new map. <laughs> you're right there, matey. There. What do you think? Perfect. Thanks. That's more like it. Hi. This is a real map of the place. Now it's my turn to hide. I'll come to eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Coming. Ready or not? As the little fishy swam closer to the shipwreck, he heard a strange, whispery voice. <coughs> then an eerie...
reward something rose up from the shadows of the sunken ship. It was what we pirates call a sea ghost. Its slimy fingers stretched from its hands like long, squirmy eels. Its voice came to him in a spooky whisper. It said... I have an urgent message for Captain Barnacle. <laughs> The vampire squid! Oh, phew. It's all right. He's an old friend. What seems to be the problem? Captain Barnacles, I have come from the deep down below where I have heard the cry of a hurt creature. A hurt creature? Peso, sound the octo alert. Octonauts, to the HQ. <laughs> Our friend the vampire squid has heard an injured creature down in the midnight zone. What sort of creature? I, I, I don't know. It is very dark and spooky down there. I get scared easily. Peso, why don't you take the guppy down below and investigate? As a medic, it's my duty to help any creature who's hurt or sick, no matter what. Even if they're hurt or sick in a very spooky place. If it's spooky down there, you're going to need help, matey. Captain, I'm going too. I'll stay in touch on the radio. Let me know if you run into any trouble. Yes, Captain. Aye, right, Captain. Over there. That is where I heard the injured thing. Look at that. Shipwreck. And strange whispery noises too, just like in your story. Aye, matey. You don't think there's a sea ghost down here, do you? Ah, this is too spooky for me. Ugh, slime. Those noises sound like they're coming from over there. I'm going in for a closer look. Yes, Captain. Peso, we've got you and Quasi on the radar. We'll keep an eye on you from here. Thanks, Captain. We found a shipwreck, and strange noises seem to be coming from inside. It could be the hurt creature. Over and out. in here. Quasi, is that you? <laughs> oh, phew. You're not a sea ghost. You're an anglerfish. Thank goodness someone heard me. I've got this pain in my lantern. Can you help? That's what I'm here for. Hmm. Looks like you've twisted this. <laughs> Sorry, what was that? <laughs> there's, there's, ah! there's nothing to worry about. This won't hurt. <laughs> now to get you a sticker. <laughs> Thank you. Hold on. According to the radar, he should be nearby. Yow! That's it, Quasi. Keep going. Quasi, there's something else aboard the shipwreck. Whatever it is, it's heading straight for you. 
I don't see anything. It's getting closer. Closer? Quasi, it's standing right next to you. <laughs> I don't see anything. Behind! In front! Just in turn! Captain! Captain, I, I can't hear you! Come in, Quasi! Captain, we've lost all radio contact. I know you hear some... What? Who's there? Show yourself! Gotcha this time! <laughs> yeah, a sea ghost! Psst. Peso! Did you have to do that? Well, sorry, Quasi. I didn't mean to scare you. You... you didn't? It's just, I think this wreck may be haunted by a sea ghost. I saw something too, but sea ghosts are only make-believe, aren't they? The sea ghost? <gasps> Captain, Captain Barnacles? I came down as soon as we lost radio contact. Were you expecting someone else? Yes, the sea ghost. Sea ghost? It's got a strange, whispery voice and long white fingers like slimy eels. It tried to grab me with them. Captain, it snuck up behind me and... Listen. Whatever it is, I don't think it wants us to be here. We'd better move out fast. This way, hurry. Ah, the sea ghost strikes again. <laughs> I've got you. I've got you. <gasps> it's got me. <laughs> <laughs> This way! <laughs> Did we just get elbowed by a ghost? Just a little further. Whoa! This way! Um... Pardon? Did you say help? Help a ghost? I'm so sorry to bother you, but I'm not actually a ghost. I'm a long-armed squid. A long-armed squid? I've seen squids before, and they don't look like ghosts. Oh, but there are lots of different kinds of squid. Giant squid, vampire squid, and me, a long-armed squid. See? So those were your elbows that bumped us earlier. Oh, yes, I'm uh, really sorry about that. These elbows of mine are always getting in the way. We're the only squid that have them, you know. But I'm afraid my elbows aren't the problem. Your tentacle is tangled. Yeah, that's why I was trying to, you know, get your attention. But why didn't you just ask us for help? Oh, we long-armed squids are, well, shy. I'm sorry if I uh, frightened you. Frightened? <laughs> It'd take more than a squid to frighten me. Oh, do you think you could help me with my tentacle, if it wouldn't be too much trouble? No trouble at all. Octonauts? Let's untangle this tentacle. Ready, Peso? Ready. Oh, I'm free. Hmm, you need a bandage on that. Oh, it feels better already. Thank you, Peso. It was no trouble at all. You be careful with those elbows of yours. I will. Goodbye. Cheerio. Oh, oh, oh. Ah, my friends, did you find... Wait, you forgot your medical bag. Ah, ghost. Oh, vampire. Ah, squids. <laughs> <laughs> A long day. I can't wait to get back to the octopod to get some rest. 
Don't worry, Peso. We'll be home in no time. It just so happens that I know a super secret shortcut through a mangrove forest. Turn left up here, Captain. Something's not right here. The mangrove forest is completely flooded. He's right, Captain. Here's what the mangrove forest used to look like. And now it's almost all underwater. We'd better take a look around and see if any creatures need our help. Uh -oh. We'll swim the rest of the way, Peso. <sighs> Looks like it's deserted. Aye. <gasps> we should all stay alert. Let's spread out and check for creatures. Aye, Aye Captain. No creatures here, Captain. All clear over here, too. No creatures here either. Octonauts, let's move out. Ow! Ooh! Huh. What, what's going on? Hello. What are you doing in here? Flappity flippers. Quasi, Peso, open your helmets, quick. No! Now! Don't worry. We just need to open our helmets so we can get you back in the water. Forget about it. This water's too deep for us and we can't swim too good. But you fish. What kind of fish doesn't want to be in the water? Ain't it obvious? We're mud skippers. Mud skippers? That's right. We can breathe air. <sighs> So we spend most of our time on land. Mud's what we need. That's where we live, and that's where we eat. There used to be plenty of mud around here, but now it's all underwater. Oh, so that's why you hitched a ride in our helmets. With everything flooded, we can't stay here. There's hardly any mud left. Yeah, if we don't find a new place, we're done for. <laughs> well, why didn't you say so? We'll help you find a new home, mateys. <laughs> Ooh, you do that for us? Watch the catch. There's no catch at all. We're the Octonauts. Helping sea creatures is what we do. Uh, OK. OK. But it's not like we need help or nothing. Of course not. But you'd be doing us a favor if you let us help you. Well, since you put it that way, sure, why not? Octonauts, to the launch bay. Octonauts, we need to find a new home for our friends, the Mudskippers. Mudskippers, eh? Fascinating. I've never seen one up close. They'll need a place with lots of mud. There's another mangrove forest nearby, Captain. This one's not flooded. There should be plenty of mud there. If we leave now, then we should be able to get there by tomorrow morning. Hey, don't go out of your way on our account or nothing. Oh, um, we happen to be heading that way anyway. What a co-winky dink. I ask you, what are the odds? Junip, let's prepare a nice muddy space for our guests in the garden pod. Oh, that a trouble. Dashi, set a course for the mangrove forest. Already on it, Captain. <laughs> I think you'll be all right in here, Mudskippers. Well, the mud's a little lumpy, but uh, I guess it ain't terrible. Yeah, not bad. I've skipped in worse. Good. Well, uh, we'll see you in the morning, then. Good night. Huh. What in the world? Captain, what's that horrible noise? I'm not sure, Peso. It sounds like it's coming from the garden pod. What's going on? Just solving a situation here. By mud wrestling? It was in my mud. Your mud? Forget about it. It's my mud now. I'm not listening. Talk to the fish. <laughs> Easy, mud skippers. We just want to... Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> They're heading for the HQ. Here's mud in your eye. Hey, whoever jumps the highest gets all the mud to himself. <gasps> You're on. 
Check this out. <laughs> you call that a jump? This is a jump. Hey! Jumping jellyfish. What's going on? Oh! Duh. These mud skippers are having a rumble over the mud and they sure fight dirty. Of course, I should have known. Mud skippers like to have their own space and they often fight over it. Oh! Then there's only one way to settle this. We'll have to separate them until we reach the mangrove forest in the morning. Ha! Ah. Peso, Quasi, catch! Quasi, scoop up some mud and head for the game pod. Peso, you take some mud to the launch bay, and I'll head back to the garden pod. Hey, that's my mud! Come back! Sorry about this. Yeah, catch me if you can! <laughs> Is everyone comfortable now? Sure am. Thanks to Peso, I've got this whole place to myself. Oh, yeah. Quasi said the mud is all mine. My name is Mud. Captain Mud. Uh, let's get some sleep now. We need to take you mud skippers to your new home as early as possible tomorrow morning. Good night. Good night. Good night. Now, this is what a mangrove forest should look like. Quasi, Peso, let's spread out and find some nice mud banks for our friends. You gonna let him water you around like that? Well, he is the captain. Says who? You're just as good as he is. Him? Ah, oh, don't make me laugh. Quasi here should be in charge. Forget about it. The captain here is the toughest guy around. Oh, well, you know, besides me, of course. Hmm. They wanna go their own way? Fine by me. Who needs those yo-yos? Am I right or am I right? Just keep your eyes peeled for some mud, matey. <laughs> you can count on me. See anything yet? I see a seagull and another seagull. And I see a crab and a lobster and a big old crocodile. And a bunch of shrimp. Wait, uh, what was the last one? The shrimp? N no, the one before that. Oh, that was a crocodile. Oh. Crocodile! Ow! <laughs> Captain! Pacer! I've got a giant crocodile on me tail! We're on our way! Hey! You want a piece of this big guy? Come and get it! That's not helping! You! He's leaving! My helmet! It's broken! Uh-oh! We're trapped! Don't worry, matey! I'll get us some air! Any sign of them? Nada. Zip. Nothing. Over there, Captain. Quasi. This calls for some polar bear strength. <laughs> Come on, you can do it. We're rooting for you, big guy. Uh, ah. Thanks, Captain. Hey, no biggie. I could have done that if I wasn't stuck in this stinking helmet. Yeah. Ah, here we are. Hey, check it out. Not bad. It looks like there's plenty of room for all of you here. Woohoo! Loved a new location. Thanks for helping us, even though we didn't really need it. Uh, give me some fin. Yeah. <laughs> ah, ah. You think I'm gonna let those yahoos grab all the best spots? Forget about it. I think the mud skippers will be all right here. Hey, that's I my saw oh, okay. I have a feeling they'll be just fine. Or as they might say, oh, oh, yeah. forget about it. What? Shiver me whiskers. 
Like that? Oh, oh. <laughs> fantastic! Hi, but what is it, me hearties? Shellington? I have no idea, Captain. I'm searching the creature collection right now. It certainly is beautiful. Found it! It's a giant siphonophore. A giant say what for? A giant siphonophore. Quite mysterious. Not much is known about it yet, because it only lives in the very deep water of the Midnight Zone. In fact, if it goes up any higher than we are now, it'll burst. No, why? The giant siphonophore lives deep under the water. That means it's used to having a lot of water pressing down on it. When it comes up, there's less and less water pressing down on it. If it goes too high, the giant siphonophore will get bigger and bigger and burst. Flappity flippers. So, that's why we've never seen one before. It has to stay down in the midnight zone. I wonder why it glows. And what's on the end of those tentacles? Oh, it's swimming away. Captain, I've got to follow it. I'll get photos nobody's ever seen before. And I'll come with you, matey. It's hard to steer a gut and snap photos at the same time. Make sure you wear your deep sea suits. Aye, aye, aye Captain. Captain. Take the copy and remember, be careful! Oh! Excuse me, I can't stop now. <laughs> Sorry, gotta hurry. <laughs> Tweak, open the. Octa hatch. You got it, Quasi. <laughs> Where'd it go? Over there, into the trench. This must be the tail. Oh, I need to get closer to the head. Aye, hold on, me hearty. Captain, there's a field of geezers at the bottom of that trench. Those geezers could be dangerous. They're like volcanoes, except when they erupt, they send up explosions of water and steam. Understood. Quasi, come in, Quasi. Woohoo! This is amazing! Wow, it's fantastic! This creature is huge! Ah, oh, it's longer than a blue whale! Quasi, watch out for. Hi, Captain! We've caught up with the giant siphonophore! Siphonophore! I was close. Quasi, you're heading straight for a field of geezers! There's peas in the freezer! Wow! <gasps> Shiver me whiskers! We're sitting on top of a geezer! Quasi, Dashy, come in! Peso, sound the octo alert! Octonauts, to the launch bay! Octonauts, Quasi and Dashy are in danger. We're going after them. Peso, Shellington, into the gup sea. Aye, aye, aye Captain. Captain. Tweak, open the octo hatch. You got it, yeah. We haven't been properly introduced. You're that giant siphonophore. We are the giant siphonophore. Uh, we look like one big creature, but we're actually a group of smaller creatures. We work together, see? Each of us has a special job to do. Some of us can light up. Once you follow our lights and get close enough, then. We do our jobs. 
We get our hooks in you, see? And then we use our powerful stingers to sting you. Like this. What's wrong? What's the problem? What's stinging? What's talking? Our deep sea suits are too thick for their stingers to get through. Ha <laughs> ha! You can't sting us, you scurvy beasties! Bah! This is shocking. Our plan is perfect. Lights, hooks, stingers. Dinner! Well, you won't be having us for dinner, you giant cyphonophore. Cyphonophore! That's what I said. Another geezer. You've got to let us go and move away from here. Oh, we're not giving up that easily. But we're right on top of a geezer. Shiver me whiskers, we're going up. And if you go up too high... We'll burst. Let's try to grab that ledge and pull us all off the geezer. Aye, unhook our arms. Good idea, see? nice of you to save us after our little dinner misunderstanding. There's the gum. But I can't see Dashi or Quasi. And something else is on its way up. It's the Siphonophore. Captain! If the giant siphonophore rises higher than the octopod, it will burst. Then we'll have to find a way to stop it. Barnacles to tweak. Dashi, Quasi and the giant siphonophore are trapped in a geezer. We need to keep them from going any higher than the octopod. And we need to do it now. Well, Cap, we could use the octopod's bubble engine to push them back down. Good plan, Tweak. Hurry. Got it, Cap. Hold on, everyone. Hi, Captain. We don't really have a choice. Tunip, while I put the bubble engine in reverse, you need to move the octopod so it's right over the trench. Just there. That button. but I'm okay. We'll be fine once everything stops spinning. <sighs> well, that was a close one, see? Oh, my tentacles are all in a twist. Sorry we tried to eat you at first. Uh, you've done so much for us. I wish there was something we could do for you. Well, there is something you could do. Truly a fantastic <laughs> sight. Oh, wow. Look at the siphonophore. You said it right. Ha. Okay, everybody. Lights, hooks, stingers. Say seaweed. 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 
closing. Come in closing. How's it going in there? I just have to get past these scurvy old sharks, and then the treasure's mine. Be careful, Quasi. Don't worry about me, Captain. I'm always careful. I still made it out of there with this. Hmm, it's a beautiful medallion, Quasi. It's not just a medallion, me hearties. This is a treasure map. According to pirate legend, these lines lead to an underwater hidden city full of treasure. Many have gone looking for it, but none have ever succeeded. In fact, my own grandfather, great pirate Calico Jack, once set out to find it was never heard from again. It'd be the one treasure he never did find. Amazing. A hidden city somewhere out there in the ocean. Ah, not in the ocean, Peso. To find a hidden city, we have to venture into the deepest, darkest depths of the Amazon River. Ahem. <clears throat> the Amazon River. Captain, that's your cue. Oh, uh, right. Um, hmm. Quasi, sound the octo alert. Yeah! Octonauts to the HQ. Octonauts, we have a special mission ahead of us. Quasi has found a map to a hidden city, and we're going to the Amazon River to find it. Jumping jellyfish. The Amazon is the largest river on the planet. Some parts of it have never been explored. It's full of amazing creatures. Many of them only live in the Amazon. I can't wait! Excellent. Well, what are we waiting for? Mind if I drive this time, Captain? Be my guest, Quasi. Dashi, activate steering wheel. I'm on it, Captain. <laughs> Freshwater stingrays, cave, manatees, and oh, look at those parrots! That parrot kind of looks like. Huh? Well, Quasi, which way to the hidden city? Straight ahead, Captain. Left or right, Quasi? Let's see. According to the map, um, left or right? Uh, no, 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 that's not it. Um, maybe if I turn it this way. Um, oh. Something wrong, Quasi? It, it doesn't say which way to go. This map is no good. So what should we do? We'll have to do this the pirate way. Eeny, me, miny, mo, catch a pirate by the toe. If me hollers, let him go. Eeny, me, miny, mo. <sighs> Everyone okay? I... I think so, but what just happened? Cap, you better take a look at this. Of course. Falling trees are very common along the Amazon. It's nothing a little polar bear strength can't fix. Come on, everyone. One, two, three. <laughs> That's it. One, two, three. <laughs> huh? Listen. 
It's a tidal bore. A wave of water from the ocean is moving up the river. And it's moving fast. Everyone hang on to something. Now! wave must have carried me up the river. <clears throat> Octonauts! Can you hear me? Quasi, Peso, anyone, come in. No sign of the guffs either. Better check the gup finder on my octo compass. Oh, it must have come loose. I can't see a thing down here. Huh? Hello? Who's there? Hola. Whoa! A dolphin in a river? That's right! I'm a river dolphin! The name's Bertha. I've lived my whole life right here in the Amazon. I'm Captain Barnacles, leader of the Octonauts. And, uh, I seem to have lost my octocompass. Hmm. Is it small? Round? Smooth? Yes, but how did you know? Found it for you! Thanks, Berta. You're wondering how I did that, aren't you? Well, I used the special sounds to find things in the murky water. I uh, don't suppose you can help me find my crew. We came up the river looking for the hidden city. A hidden city? Here in the Amazon? Oh, this I gotta see! <laughs> And the tidal bore swept us all away. I tell you, I've seen some big waves in my day. Wait. Just around the bend. Some kind of a struggle. Like something's hurt. Peso! Shh. I've got a bit of a situation here, Captain. This poor eel, the wave tangled her up. Stay back, or I might do something crazy. <laughs> That's not just any eel. That's an electric eel. When it gets upset. <laughs> that was just a little taste. Careful, Peso. I've got this, Captain. Easy now. I'm not going to hurt you. Better not. Or else. Or else. <gasps> Shh. I just need to... There. But my tail, it still hurts. I'll just bandage that up for you. Peso! What's the big idea? Scaring me like that? I gotta... Hey, my tail. It feels better. Thanks. No problem. Good work, Peso. <laughs> Eat up, Quasi. Tis good to see you again. You were just a wee kitten when I first came here looking for the hidden city. But what happened? You've been missing for years. Nah, the old thing was cursed from the start. Twas smooth sailing when Pete and I first set off up the Amazon. But little did we know that the rainy season was about to begin. My ship was nearly destroyed, but was still seaworthy until it was attacked by a flotilla of furious fire ants. I was forced to abandon ship and take me chances in the river. 
an even bigger danger lurked beneath the waves. A gigantic green anaconda snake, nearly as long as the river itself. We tussled mightily as the current swept us downstream towards waters even more treacherous and certain doom. Luckily, Pete spoke that morning just in time. And? And what? The hidden city. Did you ever find it? Nah, not yet, Quasi. I've been going in circles for all these years, thanks to this no-good map. Hold on. Ah. Well, I'll, I'll be, be a sea monkey's, monkey's uncle. uncle. It takes both parts to make the full map. Hoo -hoo. Well, what are we lollygagging around here for? Let's go! Captain, look! That's Dashie's camera. Hmm, but where's Dashy? Dashy? Dashy, are you? I found this Arapaima on the riverbank. We need to get him back in the water. Oh no, he can't breathe. <gasps> oh no, but I can. We Arapaimas can gulp air to breathe. <gasps> like this. <gasps> but only for a little while. Don't worry, we're here to help. Peso, you take that fin. Dashy, you take that one. <laughs> oh, that thing <laughs> oh, oh, thank you, my friends. You're welcome. But what were you doing on the river bank? Aha, uh -huh. that wave tossed me, the biggest fish in the Amazon, right up onto the river bank. Look what it did to my camera. That thing up there. Hmm. You better let me help you with that. Wait till you see this. Oh, thanks. Now, how about a picture? A picture? Oh, but certainly. <laughs> That's nothing, Quasi. Hang on! Yeah! <laughs> I still can't believe it. I'm on a treasure hunt with Calico Jack. Oh, Quasi. Call me Granddad. Aye, aye, Granddad. Yo, we're getting close now. I can feel it in my peg leg. The hidden city should be just on the other side of this marsh. Granddad, did you just... Shh, listen. I've got a funny feeling about this place. It's almost like someone's... Whoa! Oh, what a cute little baby. <laughs> Not too friendly, though. This marsh is ours. No one may enter. <laughs> what are those things? Capybaras. I've never seen a map like this before. <laughs> 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 and stay out. Ooh, didn't see that coming. We're getting closer to the cup, eh? Just a little bit further. Oh, hello there. Hungry. Captain, I'm not sure I like the look of these fish. Any idea what they are, Berta? Those guys? They're piranhas. Ah, piranhas. Piranhas? <laughs> Captain, up here! Shellington, tune him! Just in time, Captain. Those piranhas nearly made you their lunch. I was trying to tell you, the piranhas aren't hungry for you. They hardly ever eat anything bigger than themselves. Huh? Then why are they chasing us? They sometimes get excited when they smell something they like. Hungry. But what could they be smelling? Aha! Oh, fascinating! Junip, your fish biscuits are a big hit. Yeah, 
Here's a riddle, Quasi. The capybaras are usually gentle creatures. What's gotten into them? They must be protecting something. <gasps> like a hidden city. Can we sneak past them? No, oh, that's just what they'd be expecting. We've got to surprise them. We've got to swashbuckle them. We've got to do this the pirate way. Yeah! Something big up ahead. The guppy! Oh, it's still stuck, though. Don't worry, Cap. Tweak! I found someone who can help us. Of course. That's a banak. A wood-eating catfish. I found him nibbling some old rotten tree stems. I figured he could use a proper meal. Mm, nice and fresh. <laughs> Thanks for the help, Mr. Catfish. Anytime. <coughs> All right, everyone, into the guts. We've still got one more octonaut to find. You're doing great, Quasi. This time. I'm right behind you, Grandad! Yeah! And the Thunder Snake! Happy Virus! Tasty! Grandad, look! It's my children! Hurry! Oh, they was just protecting their wee ones! Aye! And we've brought a hungry anaconda into their midst. We've got to help them. Ah! Over here, you big slithery beast. You leave them little capybaras alone. Mm, never tasted one of those before. Ah! Keep him busy, Quasi. There you go, little mateys. Granddad, look out! Ah! It's more rather. And I'll... Yeah! Snack time. There's too many of them, Quasi. We can't give up, Grandad. The pirate way, remember? <laughs> or how about the Octonaut way? <laughs> right on time, Captain. <gasps> Is that... Ahoy! These capybaras need our help. A good thing we brought back up. Octonauts, let's do this! Octonauts. Thank you for your help, everyone. And thank you, um... Octonauts, meet the greatest cat pirate who ever lived. My granddad, Calico Jack. Calico oh, Jack. Oh, good to meet you. Smile. Tis the greatest of pleasures, Octonauts. But now is not the time for talking. We still need to find the hidden city. Come on, mateys. It's just on the other side of this marsh. You mean our marsh, which we will let you pass through. Thank you for helping us. Come on, everybody. To the hidden city. This must be it. Get ready to feast your eyes on... Where is it? Yeah, it should be right here. <sighs> After all that. Wait. Huh, the tidal bore must have filled the lagoon with muddy water, and now it's washing back out. Look! Oh, oh shiver me whiskers. Freshwater sponges! Incredible! Well, I guess this is your hidden city, Quasi. You mean there's no treasure? Oh, tis the hunt for the treasure that counts, Quasi. But we've had ourselves a wild one. Yeah, we have, haven't we? 
Jumping jellyfish. These fish, I've never seen anything like them, any of them. They're all new species. This really is a treasure. Well done, you two. <laughs> They're beautiful. That's my work. Well, Quasi, time for me to set sail. Oh, I've spent enough time here in the Amazon. I've got a lot more adventures to have, treasures to find, and swashbuckling to do. <laughs> what say you join me? Me? Go with you? Picture it. Calico Jack and Quasi, together on the Seven Seas. Granddad, Quasi, come and have a look at these fish. There's a really fast one you're going to love. Well, Quasi? <sighs> It would be an honor to set sail with your granddad, but there's only one ship I sail on now, and that's the Octopod. The truth is, I'll always have the heart of a pirate, but I'm an octonaut now. Ah, oh, I understand. Tis a hearty crew you've got there, Quasi. You're a good pirate and a brave octonaut. <whistles> Come on, Pete, get a flap on. <coughs> Fare thee well, Quasi. Ah, goodbye. Keep an eye out for me wherever you set sail. Aye, aye, Grandad. Aye, aye. Amazing. Jumping jellyfish. Look at that one. <laughs> All right, Maisies, let's see these fish. Shiver, whiskers. Who is a fast one? Look at that one. He's a nice little guy. And over there. <laughs> 